Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new fighter request. Today we are using Alir Latifi in the light heavyweight division. A few of you have actually requested this this fighter a few times. I don't know why. I have no idea. But um, I'm going to try to challenge myself today with using him. This will be... Um, I'd say this would be my second time using him. I remember using him before when the game first dropped. I was trying to test out... You know the the shorter stockier kind of grapplers and i remember using them once before but here we go let's do it again we're facing alexander gustafson and he doesn't want to touch my gloves let me switch in stance he's gonna try to kick my body yeah i know i, I figured caught that one I mean I saw that I saw both of them coming but I'm noticing that his block switches very slowly that's that might be a problem but we'll see so this dude is throwing uppercuts or like he's leading with uppercuts right now it's gonna make going for a takedown very risky I can strike with this dude. I can strike with him. Even while using Latifi. Yeah, I'm not going to risk grappling here. Not against... Yeah, he, he's... Yeah, these... These strikes he's leading with. It, it's only going to take one. Leaning into an uppercut or something. I'm not gonna risk it. <laughs> Isn't it crazy? It's more difficult to go for a takedown against an aggressive. I caught that one. And he's he's rocked. It's more difficult to go for a takedown. Now he's throwing knees. God dang it. Okay. Alright, this is where it gets difficult. I know exactly what he's going to start doing now. Uh-huh. Yep, now he's going to glue himself to me and, yeah, throw knees and combine him with elbows. I figure. Someone like this, man. Just stay calm. Stay calm. Caught it. Telegraph, baby. But yeah, man. I guess an aggressive opponent, it's a lot harder to go for a takedown. And that it's the complete opposite in a real fight. A lot easier to take down an aggressive opponent. But not in the game, no. Actually, aggression is the best counter to grappling. <laughs> we caught that one. No. Okay, um, I would say that is my round. I was able to rock him a few times. But then again, he he is so active and so aggressive with, with the combinations and mixing things up. He landed quite a few shots there. So I, I have no idea how that, that round is going to be scored. Um, I would think I won it because, again, I rocked him twice. So, But we'll see. Hey, Gustafson is hard to deal with, man. He's like a smoother version of John Jones without the grappling. But on the feet, he has basically everything John has, you know, with those knees, elbows, and then he's got boxing too. Dude, I know what you're trying to do. I see you switching your stance. You're trying to work like... <laughs> and he goes to the head. Good job. Good job. Rocked him. Dropped. All right, let's get to the red. Oh, damn. Stop it. He had to have guessed. He had to have guessed. Spinning elbows. All right. Yep.
This is so hard to deal with, man. It's just, this is manic, but it's hard to deal with. You just don't know what's gonna come next, a knee or an elbow. Right here, I should be able to clinch, but I already know it's only gonna cost me stamina to even try. Cause he just denied that thing easily. Yeah, figured. I ain't doing that again. He's rocked. Damn, man. He is winging all kinds of strikes at me right now. It, we gotta keep things as tight as possible, man. I'm gonna be so pissed off if I get, if I get knocked out from something dumb. He's rocked. Again, rock with. Oh boy. Yeah, he's getting rocked with jabs now. Huh? And it's over. Woo hoo! Yeah, baby. Yeah, buddy. Shouldn't have thrown that head kick, man. Should not have thrown that head kick. Look at that. Look at that. Damn man. This fight was this fight was risky. There was so many risky stuff going on and I was just trying my very best not to not to make any like any dumb mistakes, get overzealous. I mean, even though I was rocking him left and right and clearly his stamina was going down, he still had power to rock me with an uppercut while he was while he was hurt. You know, you know what I mean? And then with the grappling too, it's like you try to go for a clinch and that, that thing's just so slow, man. You could deny that thing with your eyes closed. And um, I felt like that was the, this was the best approach to it. Just keep it standing. Keep things as tight as possible. Capitalize on mistake. Punish every single mistake. And eventually find a way to get him out of there. And that's what we did. Anyways, I will be right back with you guys shortly with the next one. Alright, so on a um <laughs> on a different day I'd be like worried about facing DC, but kinda like this matchup. For some reason I, I feel good about this matchup. Um they're about the same height. Lear is about 5'10. DC of course is 5'11. We are both grapplers. Of course, DC has better grappling, but I feel like in exchanges, I'm good. I'm good. I can hurt him. And shit, I mean, why not? I could even grapple DC. Well, let's go. Forward pressure. Yep, I'm doing it. Probably not advisable initiating grappling against DC, but I'm doing it. He's out. Man, look at how much stamina I just lost right there. Okay, that push has some nice stopping power. Nice, it actually interrupted. Oh, wow. Hmm. It interrupted his, like, lunging, I think it was an uppercut or hook or something. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah. Forward pressure. Rocked. Dropped. Phone booth warfare. With some grappling sprinkled in. Alright, so he's just gonna lay here. And if I try to transition... Figured. <laughs> Figured. I mean, I do the same thing. There's no, there's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. You can just lay right there and let the opponent just waste their stamina. All right. So now he's circling to the right. He's no longer moving straight back. Okay, my round, my round. Man, I gotta say, I am, I'm, I'm actually kind of impressed with Ilya Latifi. He is not as bad as I thought he would be. Um, like I said, I, I feel good about this matchup, this, this fight against DC. Um, I definitely like the matchup. I can throw those combos on the inside and not suffer any, uh, like speed. Hold on. Yeah, he got me. Okay. I was trying to, uh, rather than sit in top sprawl, you know, get up, get on top of him and try to go to side control. And he's dropped again. All right, let's get side control. Yep. I figured he would do that. Move, DC. Just keep blasting at your head. Okay. Aha. Aha. He's back up. He is back up. Man, look at this. We are li just standing right in front of each other. No. Let's try it. Get it. <laughs> it didn't get to him fast enough. He was able to get back up. That's a takedown, baby. good let's try to flatten this dude out oh that whoa dude what that knocked out DC those puny little punches from the back knocked out DC. Oh my god, dude. If that was me, I'd be so pissed. I mean, I don't know how much damage those shots were doing. I can't see the fighter's health, so I can't see how much, you know, head health each punch is taking out. But apparently it was doing enough damage 
to just flat out knock DC out. And I'm talking like a, look at him, he's knocked out cold. From those puny shots from the back right there. I mean, the fighter wasn't even like elevating the arm and like coming down with vicious ground and pound. It was like, you know, love taps and that's enough to knock out DC. Dang, man. Really? That's actually shocking to me, but okay. I guess that's how it works. I guess that's how it works. You find yourself in that position, watch out for the love taps. It's enough to knock you out. All right. One more fight to go. One more fight with Aaliyah Latifi. I'll be right back shortly, people. All right. So we are facing Chuck Liddell. Actually pretty nice to see Chuck Liddell on ranked here. I don't see him often. Um, I feel like Glover is a better version of Chuck Liddell. So I do see quite a few Glover to share a players, but... The Iceman, I don't see him often, so this is good. It's really nice to see him. Actually makes me wanna makes me wanna run a few fights with Chuck Liddell now. Love those shorts. I love his model. I think he looks pretty good. And I think I don't think he's bad at all. For that for that weight class, I think Chuck Liddell is very good. I just think Glover is a better version. Anyways, this dude is not skipping. I'll be right back with you once the fight actually starts. Here we go. And he goes southpaw. Let me guess. You can try to kick my body. That's what I suspect. Yeah. Yeah, we going for a takedown. We taking this dude down. Oh, he stopped it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is good. I'm out. This is... Uh, I have... Dude, I am not used to seeing players actually stop that takedown. So... And he's up. Uh, we're gonna go for it again. And Chuck Liddell is on his back. Okay, so, you got a faint. Yeah, I try to avoid using those fakes, but when you run into a player that knows how to deny those transitions, you have to. That's just the way the grappling is designed. Oh, that is some good timing on this dude. Damn. All right. I see you. I see you with your denials. Okay. Good job. Good job. He got, he got back to his feet. He did a great job right there. I don't know if he was just guessing properly. You do that, dude, you do that one more time, I'm taking you down. And he does it again. And you're on your back. You know, man, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see grappling in these videos. I mean, occasionally I will see one or two comments talking about it's boring and, you know, you don't want to watch. But if I'm using a grappler, I try to sprinkle in some grappling here and there. Um, just let me know. I kind of want to see what a majority of you think. Do you enjoy seeing some grappling here and there when I'm using a fighter that's known to be a grappler? 
Let me know. And that was my round, hands down. Then again, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He, I mean, he, he landed a few, a few clean shots right there, as you can see from these highlights. Those body kicks he landed, and uh, a few shots he was able to land. Even though I had control on top, I think maybe the strikes he was able to land was enough to win him this round. So I'm gonna pressure this dude. I'm gonna pressure him. I got a feeling. Got a feeling. If I get rocked while doing it, I'll stop, but let's try to suffocate him. He's in Southpaw. He could just he could just circle to the right. Step to the outside of my lead arm. And just circle out. I don't know why he's not doing that. There we go. He's rock. Yeah, he's not very. Uh, he's not very good at fighting. It dropped him. He's not very good at fighting against pressure. There we go. Come on, man. Keep circling to the right. Circle to the right. There we go. There we go. And he goes right back to the cage. Rock the game. Oh my god. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> you see what I'm see what I'm saying, man? You see what I'm talking about? He went for the takedown when he should have. This is the right time to go for a takedown when you're being pressured. That's the right time. That's when it's easier to get a takedown, but in the game it's the complete opposite. That was a random uppercut that I just threw out there, and it knocked him dead. That's one uppercut knocked him clean out because he dared go for a takedown while being pressured. See, man, it's, it's, man, it's so backwards. Like, pressure is actually the right way to deal with with takedowns, with grappling, and and it's that's not how it that's not, that's not how it works. That is not how it works. It's usually easier to get a fighter to the ground when they're being aggressive. Ladies and gentlemen, oh boy. I'd be so mad if I was that dude, but hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Whoever it was that requested Aaliyah Latifi, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. I really appreciate all the support. But that is it. I will see you guys in the next one. As always, stay safe and have a wonderful day.